prologue. Stan Romanek is the centerpiece of the most documented extraterrestrial contact story in the world, and the multitude of evidence he has collected over 13 years challenges conventional beliefs. What the fuck? Did Stan write this intro himself? Oh yeah, and as you're about to see, the evidence is mesmerizing. Being abducted must be harrowing, but so is the isolation that constantly follows the misunderstood. Stan is definitely misunderstood. Oh come on. This is his story. He wrote in his alien journal, I was jump riding bike to work. They told me I need to keep my mouth shut. Could this man be telling the truth? He looks pretty government issued roughed up. You can't hide is found all on the computers. Everything else is gone. Damn, so I wonder who hacked him. Aliens or the government. This is like a fucking creepypasta. UFO enthusiasts now facing child pornography charges as subject of Netflix documentary. This asshole claimed aliens abducted him. I wonder if they sold him the child porn too. I googled this documentary and the reliable source Snopes set the record straight. One thing that I think strikes a lot of people, and it certainly did me when I met Stan, is he's just a normal guy. He seemed like a normal guy. They're a normal family. I mean, I saw their family life. You know, he's very normal. And I felt another tap on the back of my head, and I woke up in the middle of the room on a, some kind of platform with a female standing right there. That's no female. And she looked at me, tilted her head, and suddenly, an explosion of thought literally filled my head. Brain blast! Now look at this window, but if you're frightened easy, look away. What in the fake moon landing is that? It looks like a Disney animatronic from Epcot, so the worst thing we might see it do is wave or sing. Watch out, it dipped fast as a hand puppet. Oh no, the little gray man is stalking this innocent person. The alien looks like a paper plate with holes stabbed into it like a pumpkin. So it's spooky alright. Then the alien was gone faster than a meet and fuck game upload to addictinggames.com. Hinta games may have been addicting to some people, but it's not the place for it. Like this alien peeping in windows. Just look how scared that poor bastard is. You never know when they will appear. Some aliens just want to visit you on your porch for barbecue. Human barbecue. Smoke weed every day. I had, you know, I had gang members around me all the time because of the neighborhood we lived in. I had the Crips on one side, the Bloods on the other, and they were constantly f fighting among amongst themselves. Now it was always not stab wounds and stuff like that. I was always caught in the crossfires. Damn, so you were telling me a blood was trying to stab a crip and you just happened to be walking down the street to get caught in the so-called crossfire of the stabbing? Not once, but many times, he said stab wounds. This is one tough motherfucker. And they used to pick on me a lot because number one, I was the only white kid. Number two, I had a learning disability. And I had to learn to fight because of it. Everybody beat me up, and then I started beating everybody else up, including the principal of the high school I went to. Damn, the principal was gangbanging too? So, it wasn't good. I was kind of a punk. And just because I was, I was kind of angry at my life, you know, because of all the constant violence and all the, you know, having to deal with everything that I had to deal with, I was frustrated. Um, I calmed down somewhat and just kind of found my own way. These are the images that, sh that I got in my head. Hold up, you just seen some algebra? Who cares? I have flashbacks of math class too. The children. Oh no, not the children. Before we dive into that weird shit, I now have the most reliable source of them all, Wikipedia. Anyways, this motherfucker got sent to a halfway house, and he had hundreds of images of child porn. The reason his sentencing was so light is because he only got charged with possession, not distribution. If it was hundreds of anything else, and even if you were not planning on distributing any of it, you'd probably still see some prison time. For example, hundreds of pounds of any drug, hundreds of stolen mailboxes, or even a ton of fucking pandas. If any of that is stashed in your house, then you'll see some years in the slammer, buddy. Yeah, he has to register as a sex offender, but he should still see some time in prison. Anyways, to wrap this up, 
Here's this freak talking about alien children. My first abduction experience um, really was about, I think, seeing who I was, maybe seeing how I developed, I'm not sure. The abduction experiences after that seemed to involve reproductive Actually, stuff. Well, speaking of sex, I gotta go. <laughs> Every time I'm up there, I'm up there with a woman, a uh, human female, human female, human female, and um, Usually it's the same one. Over the years, it's always been the same one. Really bizarre. So are the two of you together or separate? We are together. Way? We're together. Okay. And we're side by side and we're being led into this other vehicle or room. Okay. After they did whatever it was that they were doing, checking us out or whatever, um, they brought me and this woman into this room. And then what happens next as you're taken into that room? Um, you're just sitting there and then all these little kids. I don't know if they're kids. They're like little... They can look like kids. Mm -hmm. All these kids come up and the lady's like starting to wake up and she looks real happy and she starts hugging them. Mm -hmm. And then she looks at me and I look at her and then we're both really confused. And mm -hmm. there are just these kids and they, they come is... and hug my leg and hold my hand. There were seven, seven children all, all together. There were varying ages, varying um, sizes, varying, you know, some of them looked more human, some of them looked less human, some of them had hair, some of them didn't. I'm looking at these children and I'll never forget. Every single time, every single time I talk about it, this one little girl comes up to me and hugs my leg. I'm looking down at this little, this beautiful little child hugging my leg and I realize that this, this kid looks like me and she's beautiful. She's different because it's all about the eyes. She has these huge, oversized, almond-shaped, slanted, so blue, they're almost violet eyes. Beautiful blonde hair, and she's just clinging onto my leg like, please, please don't let me go. I don't want to leave her behind. You don't want to leave who behind? The babies. The babies? What are you feeling right now besides the fact that you don't want to leave them? They're crying. They're crying? How do you, what tells you that they're crying? I can see them crying. They, they're reaching for me and they're making me go. Mm -hmm. The children are making you go? No. They're taking me away from them. Well, you should be taken away from them, you alien child-loving scum.